All right, back to the box, back to the hard drive box. A couple things came in. Uh, I'm probably gonna not use the squirrel cage fan because PWM is easier to control and who the hell needs to control Noctua's? They're so damn quiet. So there's two 120 millimeter Noctua's. I got this two pack for 40 bucks. Not sure if I'll be able to link that if it just goes away because those two packs are usually, well, not rare, but they don't hang out very long. And here is the power supply that I'm going to use, and it's claimed to be an LED driver, Super Knight by Super Knight. That's the best name ever. Made in the People's Republic of China. And this is a 30 amp 12 volt supply with three rails, three positive rails. One, two, three. And it's going to mount there to the lid, which should be alright. I think it'll even stay open if it leans back far enough. And the reason it's going to the lid because. I came out to the back, that's where the air... I'm not cutting this front apart for the fans. So that's where the fans are going out. In between every drive is going to be where the uh, vent holes are to bring cool air in at, past all 10 hard drives. They'll come in, they'll come up. Of course, this will be obviously covered when it's closed. They'll come in, they'll go... And they'll just seep into this upper area. The, draw, the uh, SATA controllers will probably get mounted... Like there and here. It'll be a completely split thing. Five drives, five drives, one fan, one fan, one controller, one controller. The power supply is going to sit up here. One rail will do five hard drives. The other rail will do another five hard drives. And the last rail will do all the fans, controller for the fan, and controllers for the SATA. And I've got the 12 volt to 5 volt reducers on order. They haven't shipped yet. So they're just going to get put in line, so I'm going to have to run some fancy cable. Then i got to figure out how I'm getting 110 up to there, because it's literally just a set of screw terminals for 110. So, probably going to have to put the plug here. I put the, can't put the plug there. Can't really put the plug there. The plug might have to go on the back, right there. And then I'll have to run 110 up to it. Not sure how the hard drives are going to handle that. I've been doing some experiments. These are, these are the... Uh, this is just half inch cutting board, which is my favorite material. I cut some three quarter inch little cubelets that are gonna be sitting here in the front. And these are three quarter inch by four inches high slats in the back. And those are gonna get fixed somehow. These are pro this is gonna, this is a uh, solid piece that's just down to hold everything. Then I got the little cubelets that are gonna get probably, I'll probably drill through them and screw from the back. And the same thing here and this way you just take a hard drive and you're just going to go, I want to add a hard drive. And there'll be all the 8th uh, inch foam. I have it on the hard drive because I don't want to stick it to the box yet. You're just going to go down and you're going to go squeeze in place. And then there'll be, that won't happen. There'll be a foam block here. Probably stiff foam, like that stuff. Just a, a, a rectangle of it, uh, backed by the soft, cushy type foam. So when you push this down, when you close it down, it's just going to go and hold all 10 hard drives in place and they'll never move. Of course, they'll be, they'll be held in place this way with the chocks and held from doing this with that and there'll be foam on the bottom. So that should hold everything in place. Now it's just a matter of getting all my wiring to work with the power supply sort of hanging. Like there. So there's, there's air there's at least two inches above the fans. And then I just got to deal with the custom power and 10 SATA cables going everywhere. I don't know how I'm going to like, if I want to go from here to there, do they sell 4 inch SATA cables? Can I cut a SATA cable and reduce its length or I just have to really fucking get anal and fold everything? I don't know. I'll put links to this thing, which has really high ratings and obviously these cannot be beat ever, ever. And that's all I've bought for this so far. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother linking set of cables. You could find them on your own. I link the box too. Soon.